This is the 2020 Land Cruiser Prado and you are tuned in to V8 TXP. Anywhere you go in the world, this is one of the cars that you are bound to recognize. The Land Cruiser name has built itself the reputation of a go-anywhere vehicle that can take you to literally every corner of the earth. On the 2020 edition, Toyota has done some well-needed upgrades on this 2020 Prado. Let's take a look at what those are. First off, the headlight is redesigned. It's not that long sweeping headlight anymore. It's the straight one that's come out. Gives it a much nicer and a sleeker look. Got this big grill in the front with the massive Toyota logo, which is working towards their branding. You also got LED fog lights over here that really accentuate the look of the car. And you've got a good amount of chrome that goes all around the car. So you've got the full chrome top, you've got everything over here. Obviously you can't make much of the front of the car because as you can say, we are having a lot of fun with this car. Um, some of the interesting stuff that you can see over here is Toyota has placed these projector lamps to the inside of the car and not on the outside. That's because when you're off-roading, you don't if something comes and hits the car over here, you don't pay as much to replace these. These are your normal bulbs, so these are much cheaper to replace. Also got a nice LED fog lamp over there, which is really good at this price point to see Toyota put all of that stuff into the car. Um, chrome garnish all around, so you can see you've got this nice good, good chrome on the front. Got this whole fascia on the side over here, chrome underlinings over there. You've also been running 17 inch chrome rims, which do the job really well. And it's wrapped around in Dunlop tires, which also seem to be working really fine. On the side, you have the normal Toyota Prado. There's nothing new that's been changed for this year. Unfortunately, it looks exactly the same. There's not a, not a lot of difference that has come onto the car from the side profile. And obviously when you look about a 2020 variation of any car, you expect some more chrome. Toyota has done that. You've got some nice chrome over here, over here, some nice chrome bits over there. Overall, it's, it's got pretty much the same size on, it's got pretty much the same look on the sides. And if you come back around the corner, you see that one of the things that distinguishes the 2020 Prado is obviously the new redesigned tail lamps. These are LED with a bit of black accentuation around it, which gives it that premium upmarket feel. And uh, if you come to the back of the car, it's a very similar story again standard Land Cruiser Prado branding all around and overall looks a pretty handsome car there's uh, there's, no, there's not not lots to say in the looks department pretty utilitarian and it looks really nice but Toyota has done a lot of wonders on the inside and it really shows this model the VXR model is equipped with all the bells and whistles it's got a perforated leather seats it's got a very nice interior that's all leather wrapped and you can see that Toyota has really gone in on the build quality of this Let's talk about the interiors of the 2020 Prado. If there's one place where Toyota has really put their money, it's the interiors. They've got a brand new steering wheel for 2020, which has also been seen now on a lot of Land Cruisers. You've got a similar display that comes in and uh, you also have this for a few other models, but a stark variation from what you've been getting a little early. Nice, good, crisp display on the tachometer. You obviously have your RPM on the left and your speedometer on the right. And you've got these nice uh, touch screens over here and uh, they basically control the center uh, screen so you've got all of that uh, tire pressure messages settings and all of that stuff that there so it's really good uh, pretty nice to see that pretty vivid and clear steering wheel also is leather wrapped feels good it feels pretty good uh, you've got your cruise control settings over here in typical toyota fashion and steering feels really nice on uh, highway highway driving or during the city it's light enough doesn't feel like you're driving a very big car uh, this is electronic so very nice feel to it uh, everything else stays constant you have your power window switches you have your front parking sensor indication there and these are for your front wiper sorry your front headlight washer fluids your mirrors and the biggest change for 2020 is this thing away what Toyota has done with this unit is completely changed the change the way that Prado interacts with its users this is a gorgeous touchscreen system which is very high very high quality really bright and what's surprising to me is you just see how quick this whole thing works so now we're in navigation you've got your phone you've got your apps you've got everything else and it works and it works at lightning speed it's almost as good if I might as an iPad and I think it's it's it's, it's even faster than that and you also get inbuilt navigation. So you have all your settings over here as to how you want, want the map, what all do you want stuff going on over there. You also have buttons in case you wanna go back really quick, you go there. Volume is also controlled by the system over here. Plus you also have the indication over here. So I think that's a good factor to have both of those. Uh, multiple things that you can change. Everything is over here, very crisp display. And I really like how quickly this whole thing moves. So if you get it to home, 
I'm gonna go to Google navigation, boom, there you go. Font, boom, there you go. Everything is very quick and nice on this. And it's just rather big in the center console, so you can see that it, you know, it really gets gets in over there. Um, your HVAC controls over here go in there. Start stop button, and here's where all the fun stuff, here's what makes a Land Cruiser a Land Cruiser. You've got your four low, which is obviously electronic, and you push and gets into four low. You've got your axle lock, traction control, and second start. A lot of Prado owners don't know what second start is. So second start is basically when you're stuck in sand and you don't want to start off in your first gear. So you don't want the wheels to be spinning as soon as you get out of mud. So which is why you put it in second start and it actually starts in the second gear. Therefore not giving you wheel spin when you get off and not getting you stuck. Uh, gear lever, nothing, nothing special about that. I also have a hand mounted um, handbrake. Uh, this day and age 2020 i know it's rugged i know it's everything but i think an electronic park brake would have been uh, a, a nice addition to this and this one also comes with ventilated seats unfortunately it's just cool seats it's not the warm heat seaters it's the warmers as well it's just the cold ones now for anyone that's going to looking at buying the prado you are going to be off-roading it quite a bit if not on the weekends and that's what the car is designed for Someone that doesn't have a lot of off-roading experience, I let my wife drive around the 2020 Prado in beautiful difficult situations and on some loose gravel just to get an idea of how the car compares to someone that doesn't have a lot of off-road experience. And as you can see over here, it's doing pretty well in terms of a bit of rock, call, rock crawling, a bit of sand, a bit of uh, dunes over there and just a tad bit of... Uh, you know the basic off-roading that you'd expect from a car and given that most Prado owners are most likely to take the cars off-roading and not a lot of them might have off-road experience the car definitely shines and it makes you look like you're a professional off-roader enjoy some of these clips as me and my wife put this car together through some of its paces